Welcome back guys, JC here. Uh, I'm not actually not going to make a complete video on why your multi-order flips on takeoff because Joshua Bardwell has already made an awesome video just on that subject. Um, definitely check out his channel. I don't want to steal any views from him because he did make such a great video. Uh, well, he has such a great channel overall. But I will place the link to this video. You should be seeing it in the top right of your screen now. Uh, so definitely check this video out. The problem is, um, anytime anyone asks me why their multi orders flip on takeoff, I always refer this video to them. And uh, but some people come back with a few questions. I understand that some of you are like me. I'm a visual learner. I actually have to see something for it to make sense. And uh, even though he explains everything great, he doesn't really show you. So I'm going to cover that part. But first, let's see what. Uh, what is known as InstaFlip looks like. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're a multi rotor, if it seems like it is just going full throttle and flips, it just it like won't even make it off the ground, that is InstaFlip. If yours actually makes it off the ground, you can fly it, but it just randomly. Uh, twist and turns and falls out the sky, that's not insta flip and this will not apply to you. I'm going to assume you've watched his video. Uh, now let's talk about what he talks about. He n pretty much narrows it down to four possible causes that can well cause this. There are a few more, but these are by far the four most common causes. Uh, so motors connected in the wrong motor header or in the wrong order. Uh, so let me actually show you what he's talking about. You can go into beta flight or clean flight, it doesn't matter. Then if you go to configuration, we will see uh, most of us are using a quad X frame. And here, there's actually a number for your motors. And your motors have to be connected, or the ESCs of that motor has to be connected to your flight controller in this order. Uh, so, you know, this is going to be one, two, three, and four. It also shows you the rotation the directions that the propellers have to be spinning. It has to spin in this order. So 1 and 4 is clockwise, 2 and 3 is counterclockwise. Not only do the motors have to spin in that direction, but you also want to make sure that the propellers are placed on the motors in the correct direction because you can have your motor spinning clockwise, but the you have a counterclockwise propeller on it, um, so it's, it's not going to fly that way. Now if we look at our flight controller, uh, these are actually inputs and these are outputs. Not all flight controllers have eight inputs, only ones that accept PWM receivers, but we're not talking about that. We're just looking at the outputs that your ESCs are going to plug into. So your bottom right motor, motor number one, the ESC, that is going to, if you're using the three wire server cables that come on the ESCs, then you're going to plug that into channel number one, or what a lot of us do is just cut that off and solder the wires directly onto here. But uh, the bottom right motor ESC has to be connected to channel number one, the top right, number two, and so on, so on. Also make sure that it's typically a white wire that is going into your signal pin, which is almost always the pin closest to the center of the board, and ground is almost always on the outside of the board. Even if this is not labeled on your flight controller, um, it's it's going to be the same way. Just know signal inside, ground outside. Now uh, number two is motor spinning in the wrong direction. We already covered that, but just to add to it, um, like I said, they have to be spinning clockwise for one and four, counterclockwise for two and three. Now if your motors are spinning in the wrong direction, then you can easily change that using the BL Heli Suite. Assuming you have uh, ESCs with BL Heli or the uh, Simon K firmware, or th the bootloader at least. I have a entire BL Heli Suite playlist link in the top right of your screen now. And all you would do is just connect to it using those videos that I've made. And you can change the motor direction right here. You just click this little arrow and it will switch from normal to reversed and then right setup and you're done. The other way to do this, if you don't feel like messing with the BL Heli Suite, all you have to do is just take the wires on the left side of your ESC and the right side of your ESC and flip-flop them, and that will reverse your motor order. 
Uh, technically the third way of doing it is by using a custom motor mix but that's the hardest way of all three and I don't I'm not going to explain that right now. Number three, flight controller board alignment parameter is not correct. What he means by this is if you go into beta flight or clean flight and you go to setup and you see the picture of your multi-rotor, uh, you want to hold your multi-rotor like it is on the screen. Now say I uh, tilt my multi-rotor forward but it's actually going to the right or the left or if I tilt it forward and it's actually going backwards then your flight controller is not aligned to the frame. Now a lot of these flight controllers actually have an arrow on them showing you where the front of the flight controller is but you don't you absolutely do not have to mount the flight controller with you know this being towards the front of your frame. In a lot of cases I don't like the location of the USB cable. Uh, so say like some flight controllers that have the arrow is pointing forward so this is the front but they also place the USB on the front or on the rear. I want the USB on either the left or right so I would have to mount this with the arrow pointing either to the left or to the right. Uh, and that's fine you can absolutely fix that. Uh, all you do is just go to configuration and scroll down to board sensor alignment. There's, it's really only going to be one of four choices. Uh, zero degrees is if you have the arrow pointing to the actual front of your frame, but if it's not, then it's going to be either 90 degrees, uh, 180 degrees if the arrow is facing to the rear of your frame, or 270 degrees. Just do one of those three options, make sure you save and reboot, go back to setup, Say when you moved it forward and it was going to the right and then you punched in 270 degrees and now it's whenever you go forward it's going to the left. All you have to do is just switch it from 270 to 90 or like I said just try all three options until you actually uh, have the picture going forward whenever you move your frame forward. Once this picture is doing what you were doing with your multi rotors in your hands then uh, the flight controller is now aligned to your frame. But if it is not aligned, it's not going to fly right and you will get insta-flip. Custom motor mix is used and is not correct. If you have not made a custom motor mix, then you shouldn't have to worry about this. It's just going to be uh, options one to three. If you have made a custom motor mix and you're not sure if it's right or not, um, if you haven't made a custom motor mix, then you can just type in mmix and it's not going to show anything. If you do type in mmix, All right, let's just pretend this is my custom motor mix, and I'm not sure if it's making me have Insta Flip or not. All you have to do is just do uh, M Mix Reset, and that will completely reset it to where it, you know it's there is no more custom motor mix. Then try flying it again, see if you still get Insta Flip. If you are still getting Insta Flip, it's something else. Now that's the four most common causes. There are a few other common causes. It, it could be a damaged ESC. Um, as far as your PIDs, so sometimes you can over adjust your PIDs like, like way completely crazy and uh, sometimes that can cause it. If that's the case, all you would do is just come here and do reset all uh, profile values and that will completely reset your PIDs. I've received some questions along the lines of, uh, JC, I have not adjusted my PIDs. I'm using just the PIDs that comes on the firmware. I haven't changed anything. Could that cause InstaFlip? Uh, I'm going to say no. The, the PIDs that come on your firmware, they are perfectly fine. Uh, flying your multi it's not going to be the optimal uh, PID setup, but it's not going to cause InstaFlip. That's going to do it, guys. So I really hope that this visual demonstration helped some of you out that still had some questions after I recommended Joshua Bargle's video. Um, so if you still have any questions, leave it for me in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.